Neil Powell, his final event in charge of South Africa. Here they come, the Blitzbox and the Condors. Selwyn David leads out South Africa. Great shots coming your way from Cape Town Stadium. It'll be South Africa who will get us started. It was actually my second tournament in charge of the Springbok 7s team. So um, the, the previous weekend we lost to Fiji in a, in a final, then um, went to P for that tournament in South Africa. We'll have a moment's silence now for Nelson Mandela. That Thursday morning when we woke up, we woke up with the news of uh, President Nelson Mandela passing away. And obviously being in P and playing at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, um, almost felt like there was a lot of expectation on the team to then be successful for the nation and to inspire the nation or to give them hope again. And I can clearly remember how it just was too much for me and I almost end up on my bed crying for a few minutes because I could just feel the pressure of, of that expectation. I managed to be able to recover my my thoughts and my emotions and, and um, put my head down again and, and, and make sure that the work is done before that, that tournament starts. And, and again, I think very blessed that we've managed to win that tournament um, in, in PE in a, in a difficult time like that and inspired hope to, to a nation. It will be a fairy tale ending, but life is not always a fairy tale. It doesn't always happen the way you imagine it, it can and, and hopefully will happen in Cape Town at the World Cup. And I think what better way, if possible, to say goodbye to a system, to an organization like SR Rugby, than to be able to win a World Cup in your own country in front of your own fans. We will definitely go all out to, again, make South Africa proud, to inspire the hope that we've hopefully done over the last nine years, then for me, it's, it's enough. Funny story is me, me and my fiance, we were actually busy on our way to our wedding venue to see the people and then uh, I got a phone call and then uh, I told Coach Neil, Coach, just give me five minutes so I can just talk to my fiance and then we spoke about it and uh, we come to conclusion and I must grab this opportunity and I'm, and I'm totally grateful. It's, it's, it's still unreal. You know, I've, I've been out of the, the team for about two years, but I've obviously followed the games over, over, the, over the season. The start of the week is a, is a progressive start. I think um, this first session, a lot of clarity, especially with the fact that we got Sissel in. It's one of our playmakers. I think it's, it's key for, you, for him, especially to understand where we're going. When I joined him up, I told him, guys, I'm here to make sure that I can commit to my own responsibility, whatever you guys need me, is it to, is it to bring water, is, is it to iron your t-shirt or bring you coffee or bring clothes to make sure that we focus on the right things to make sure that we can be successful. All right guys, um, yeah, it's, it's obviously that day again, um, which is never a nice day. And I think, Firstly, I want to thank everybody. Um, I know it's been a, a difficult three days. It's, it's obviously having to train, knowing that there still need to be two guys cut from a squad will always play on your mind. I mean it when I say I wish I could have taken all 14 into this World Cup. Um, it's, it is obviously difficult decisions that needed to be made and, and I think from us and the management and myself, it, it was never an easy decision. It's never perfect, it's sometimes the wrong decision, sometimes the right decision, and we will only know that after, after the World Cup. And the starting lineup will then be uh, Christy, JC, uh, Saku, Ronald, Selvin, um, Miller. Just from our side, Ryan and James, thank you so much for, for this week. I know it's, it's obviously tough for you guys, um, but we really appreciate your attitudes and I'm um, sorry that we, we couldn't take all of you to, to the World Cup. Uh, being here at the captain's photo with all the teams, all 40 teams here, men and women, um, it definitely highlights the, the atmosphere in the air in Cape Town and um, 
the excitement amongst everyone. It's getting closer. It's Wednesday today, and we we two days away from kickoff. So um, really exciting, and coming to this captain's photo this afternoon, it brought about uh, some nerves and excitement as well. At any given tournament, of a population of I don't, I don't know how many million, there's only 13 that's got that privilege and honour to sit in this room and represent your country. I think it's so unique and special about it is it's, it's 13 individuals, but they won. Go think about what is your motivation. You represent more than just yourself. You represent a country, you represent family and friends, but you also represent people that you don't even know, that look up to you and that you inspire hope for, that you give hope for because of where you came from and what you've achieved in your life. McNulty leads out Ireland. Selwyn Davids in front of the blitz spot line up there in the green shirts. The host nation in the home kit. JC Pretorius has spilt the ball now. Given possession back to Ireland again. And here's Jordan Conroy. And he, like an arrow, is through the South African defence. They've scored again. Terry Kennedy, he's got Conroy with him. And you won't catch Jordan from there. The hands in the air. And he knows Ireland are in the semi-finals of a Sevens Rugby World Cup. It has been a major, major surprise this. South Africa will have run out of road. It's obviously a massive disappointment. Um, you will always hope to have ended your career on a, on a better note. Um, but we... We knew, and I said it in the beginning as well, um, life's not always a fairy tale and doesn't play out the way you hoped and think it, it would. Um, unfortunately, this time it's, it's one of those cases. This isn't life. Life is what happens outside of this. This is part of life. Um, so we'll obviously take stock of what happened tonight. Hopefully we can come back tomorrow and make South Africa proud of us again. Puma Sevens have inflicted a second straight defeat on South Africa here in Cape Town. The dreaded day that I obviously didn't look forward to um, since the beginning of the season, beginning of the year, and almost counted it down months, weeks, and eventually it became days. And um, now it's hours and minutes, and I think by Tuesday I'll probably um, like Kate, my office as well, um, and, it, and it will become even more real than what it is now. Guys, let's go out and go enjoy this last one. Let's go really enjoy this last one. I know it's not the pre and the run up to the last game that we wanted, but let's go really out and enjoy it because this change room will never be the same again. It will, in the future, it will be better more stressful, less stressful, more relaxed, less relaxed. Whatever it is, it's never gonna be the same like it is today. It will change because it's different personalities that bring different attributes to the, to the system and to this team. Let's go look back on this thing and then we look in, into this last game and say, it was a good one. We enjoyed it. We don't even have to even go and warm up if you don't wanna go warm up. We can just run into the field and go play. Because it's not now a physical thing. It's what's happening here and what's happening here. And that's where you need to switch it on. I can't switch it on for you. The guy next to you can't switch it on for you. You're the only guy that can switch yourself on mentally and physically. And hard-wise. Because that's what we're going to need out there. This is the last of the last, guys. Let's go finish on high. Let's go give the people a reason that still supported you while all the others left. Let's give them a reason that they stay. And Coach Neil Powell's last game in charge on the Blitzbacher. Out they come. South Africa, let's hear the roar from this crowd. Bounce. He waits beautifully for it. 
Joshua gave us this time, there's no doubt. And this time, he's going to salute. Well, you can see the emotion, you can see the joy. And this crowd is going to salute all the effort to the fellows out here. Um, I think if you know me well, you know that this jersey means a lot to me and the system. Um, thank you so much for responding in this last game and to play the way you play. I don't think you could have given me a better getaway gift, go away gift than this. Um, thank you so much, and I know I didn't always go went that way to, tonight, but I'm I'm really proud of each and every one of you. Um, but not just proud of what you do when you're on the field, but proud of the human beings you became in the system and um, through the years that you've been part of the system. Yeah, so it's 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 obviously gonna become a lot more difficult when you say goodbye to the system. You know you're still here. And there will probably be still be a few days before you you physically say goodbye, um, and it will still become a lot more emotional. And there will be definitely a lot of mo a lot more tears from my side and and even from my family side as well. And and then again, uh, my wife, um, amazing person and. I think it shows me how important it is to make sure that you you marry the right person. Um, how supportive she's been, um, how almost she gave up her ambitions and her career to support me to be become what I wanted to be in terms of my coaching career. Um, she's been an incredible rock and foundation for me. All you have left now is the memories and that those memories will last till hopefully the day when I when I um, get to my 90 years old.